third phase of moon. Welcome back, Blake Cousins here, third phase of moon, breaking news just in. New video, never before seen, of what looks to be a TR-3B. Alex Gruvera and Dan Warner, tech expert in night vision, shares these videos to us right here at Third Phase of Moon. Take a look at their production just shared with us. Hey everyone, this is Alex and Dan with ET Care in Michigan. We'd like to show you some videos of some UFO triangles we've been taking over Michigan the last few months. Uh, but before we get into that, we want to show you some statistics, uh, UFO stats for Michigan from UFO Stalker as of March 7 of this year, 2015. As you can see, Michigan is not only uh, number five uh, UFO hotspot in the last 30 days, but it is also number five most active region of all time. So let's get into our first video here. Here you see a video that we shot uh, March 5th of 2015 over Waterford, Michigan. Here is a very brightly lit object that passed over our night vision scope. As you'll see, uh, as it gets into the corner, this is a triangular shaped craft. Difficult to see here because it is emitting so much light energy that it is bleeding out the night vision scope. But as you'll see in the corner and in the close up coming up, this is indeed a triangular shaped craft with a light in the center. Uh, here's a very good view of it. As you can see, a light in each corner and a light in the center. Um, some people might say this is an airplane. Well, let's take a look at what, what an airplane might look like here at about the same height. Now we've got this at half speed, so you can see it. And you can see that an aircraft, the outline is clearly visible. It's not emitting nearly as much light energy itself other than just uh, uh, its own small lights and ambient light uh, being reflected from the environment. Now that compared to what we captured on the left, this particular object is emitting much more light energy as compared to the aircraft. And as you can see, clearly the outline of the object on the left is not an aircraft. It's something else. We don't know what it is. Let's take a look now at another triangle which we captured. This is actually uh, back November 2nd over Auburn Hills, Michigan. And as you'll see here, we'll get into a close-up. Once again, a triangular shaped craft traveling quickly overhead. This particular craft, uh, no light in the center, uh, was not visible to the naked eye. Our cameraman Dan was filming this and calling it out and nobody in our group could see it. Only Dan could see it under the night vision scope. So what are these craft? Well, if we look into UFO history and try to get some data together, you will find that uh, there's really a couple of things that could possibly be. One is uh, the TR-3B, which many believe to be a military aircraft created from reverse engineered alien technology captured at UFO crash retrieval sites. Um, these uh, have been filmed all over the world by a lot of different people with video. Uh, they've been seen in a lot of different places. This is, uh, this is certainly one possibility. Now another possibility is uh, for those of you who have uh, done your homework in UFO history, there was a wave of triangles that uh, traveled over Belgium in 1989 and 1990. Uh, and that was called Belgian Wave. These things were seen all over Belgium. This happens to be a photograph considered to be the only authentic photograph taken during the Belgian Wave. And the light in the center uh, was a spotlight. Uh, next, Dan Warner is going to describe the particular equipment that we use to do the night vision filming. Hi, Dan here. I've been using a Gen 3 night vision monocular. I found a night vision depot. Um, to the back of that, I hooked up a Canon camcorder. The screens that those camcorders come with are about two to three inches, which you can't really see what's going on at all. So I hooked it up to a Voltrox field monitor. With those, you can zoom in in 720p and get a clear view of what you're actually recording. That tripod only goes to about 70 degrees, so I took a 2x2 and threw a hinge on it to extend the range past the vertical. One other thing about that camcorder is that it doesn't have any filter adapter threads, so to get it to mount to the night vision device. I actually just uh, took a filter adapter ring and glued it to the front of it. 
Here's a better view of the mount. They both take a quarter twenty thread screw that you can get from the hardware store. And one thing that I've found is that if you don't use a string to tie them to the actual amount, you're going to lose them all the time. So that's what that yellow string's for. One thing I need to mention, if you're in a cold climate like we are here in Michigan, alkaline batteries are only good to about zero degrees Fahrenheit. Um, Energizer's got some lithium batteries that are good to, I think, 20 below, so they won't cut out in the middle of the night. Or if you've been recording for more than about 20 minutes, they'll go all night and then be ready to go for the next day. What did Dan and Alex capture with their night vision equipment? Leave your comments below. In my opinion, reverse engineered technology has just been seen right here at Third Phase of Moon. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Skype interviews with Dan and Alex. Blake Cousins, we'll see you again next time. If you have any questions on this video technology which you've just seen or would like assistance in making your own UFO video capture system, please contact Dan Warner at warner1 at yahoo.com. We'd like to make five very important points here that we believe everybody needs to know about the extraterrestrial presence engaging our world. First, extraterrestrials have been visiting our planet for thousands of years and are on our planet right now. You can see the evidence of this by googling UFO, Paul Hellyer, Bill Uhouse, Boyd Bushman, and Henry McElroy Jr. Point number two, their presence is being kept secret. You can look at this evidence by googling UFO John Callahan, Robert Salas, Robert Jacobs, Donna Hare, and Jonathan Weygant. Point number three, this secrecy is damaging our civilization. A uh, very good video on this is by Dr. Stephen Greer on YouTube titled Why Secrecy of UFOs and Free Energy and also a video by Richard Dolan titled Totalitarianism or Freedom Endgame in 20 Years or Less. Point number four, exposing the truth about the extraterrestrial presence on our world will help our civilization, uh, especially in the way of releasing new ener energy technologies into public domain. You can see evidence of this by looking at the YouTube video titled Electrons Ride the Magnetic Wave a clean energy device being made by Dr. Searle, S-E-A-R-L-E. -E. And finally, it is up to the people of the world to demand their governments and private corporations disclose everything they know regarding the extraterrestrial presence engaging our world. In the end, it's going to be up to us to make extraterrestrial disclosure happen for everybody in the world. Our organization is called ET Care in Michigan, and that stands for Extraterrestrial Contact, Activism, Research, and Education. And we support excellent websites like Third Phase of Moon and others that are dedicated to making extraterrestrial disclosure happen. We would like to thank Blake for all his help. To get a free chronologic list of extraterrestrial evidence links, go to our website, www.etcare.org. There you can download a spreadsheet that has hundreds of links in chronological order from ancient times all the way to modern day showing all major UFO related events that are very important that people know our history and current status of what's going on. Thank you very much for your time in watching this video. Third phase of moon. Third phase of the moon.